Hello, welcome to my vlog. My name's Katie. Um, I'm the little walking foot and this is my first ever Friday Sews. So I'm going to talk to you about things that I have done this week and some of my plans for the week ahead. So if that sounds of interest, then do please carry on watching. So first of all, I'd like to say I'm really sorry I've not vlogged for a really long time. I wasn't the most um, proficient of um, vloggers at the best of time. I only really started in, I think, the summer last year and just did bits and bats. And uh, so I haven't actually vlogged since December. So. Um, I won't bore you with why I haven't. Um, I have carried on sewing. I've been improving my skills and I've been enjoying watching other vlogs. And now I feel like it's time to uh, tip my toe back into, or dip my toe back into vlogging. So I was thinking and hoping that Friday Sews is going to keep me um, honest and, and keep me regular. Um, sounds a bit like a laxative or some prunes or something but um, yes I would like to engage a little bit more in Friday Sews. So the lady who started Friday Sews is called Jen and she has a brilliant vlog called Today in Jen's Sewing Room so thank you Jen for starting this hashtag. I love watching Jen's vlogs because her energy and um, her sweetness just really comes through and uh, yeah she seems like a really amazing lady so thank you Jen. So the things that I have been sewing this week let's start with that so we've had loads of bank holidays <laughs> in the UK and actually uh, this is a bank holiday because King Charles III is being coronated tomorrow which is Saturday so I'm now off for three days. I'm just filming this. I've just finished work. So um, I'm hoping to get some sewing in, quite a bit of sewing this weekend. And we had May Bank holiday last weekend. And there's just been a few other days that I've had off. I'm a teacher, so I've been on strike. And um, we had a day off at my school to celebrate Eid because um, of the cohort of children, most most of them are Muslim, so we are celebrated Eid. Uh, sorry, we had Eid off for the people who celebrated it, so I had a sewing day there. So I've actually managed to do quite a bit. So the first thing that I am just so proud of, because it's the first time that I've done it, I've actually managed to do uh, buttonholes on a stretch knit. Um, first time doing buttonholes full stop and the stretch knit or the knit that I did these buttonholes on was my Marlo Cardi and I sewed this up in a beautiful um, pink Ponte Roma that I got from Minerva a couple of months ago. When this first arrived I wasn't so sure of the colour, it was a bit too baby pink for me but now it's actually in a 3D form, in a, in a structured garment, um, I'm quite liking it. I think the sleeves are a bit too long, but I'm just so proud of the buttonholes because I was really, really nervous about it. So I did quite a bit of research, I interfaced, I practiced it, but it was still really nerve wracking. So yes, I have managed to do some buttonholes. So I'm hoping that that's going to really kind of open up possibilities for my future sewing in wovens and knits. So um, I'm hopefully I've popped a picture in here and maybe some video, I don't know. Uh, like I say, the arms are too long so I do need to change that Marlo Cardi. That is the second Marlo Cardi I have made and um, yeah, I'm just really chuffed with it. Um, now, why did I do this? I think I was struggling. Ah, I'm currently, mm, right, go back. 
I'm currently working on a Love Notions blouse. Uh, it is the Ballad blouse and it has got a bit of shirring in it and I was having a nightmare with this shirring and it was just put me off and I was getting really frustrated so I thought right I'll sew up a few easy sews. Um, I'll change my needle to my jersey needle and I will just try and get a few easy wins under my belt. So I made a Mandy Boat tee. I have made Mandy Boat tees before in a looser, uh, light, lightweight uh, jersey. This was a heavier jersey that I got from Pound Fabrics um, a couple of months ago, probably in the autumn time. When it arrived, again, it wasn't really what I wanted, what I expected. So it's it feels a bit cheap to me. Um, it's quite heavy, lovely royal blue colour, um, but yeah, I just thought I'm not going to really probably do anything with this. So I'll make this Mandy Boat tea and it's probably something I'm going to wear on weekends, just running errands, that kind of thing. I made a size two. Last time I made a size three and it, it does come out really, really big. So I think it looks all right. Um, sleeves are a bit tight, but I've heard a few people saying about that. So that was my second make. My third make, which was a bit of an easy win, um, which I needed because this shirring had driven me mad, was um, the first time I've made this, it's the Sinclair Patterns Harper Cardigan. It is a free pattern. I'd originally wanted to do this for the, ooh, what's the challenge called? Um, the challenge about free patterns. Oh my goodness, it's gone out of my head. And Ruan runs it from Yorkshire Soul Girl and Sam from so uh, from Frugalissima. Anyway, um, you'll know what I mean. Oh, I can't remember. And I had planned to enter that, but time just got away from me. So, downloaded the Sinclair Patterns Harpacardi, got it printed off at Fabuloso, and yeah, I think this is going to be a great pattern. I think it might end up being a bit of a tried and true pattern for me. I made the long caddy, not the duster, but I am only four foot eleven, so I think the duster is always going to be too big for me. So I actually just cut out the the long caddy. Now the only issue with this with the pattern with the fitting is that the sleeves they should be three quarter length sleeves but they're very very wide and I'm not sure why so I'm going to go back and watch Andrea from the Pink Door and there's quite a few other uh, vloggers talking about this pattern and um, so I'm going to watch that and see if they've had any issues with the width of the sleeves and see if I can rectify that now this fabric also came from uh, Pound Fabrics in the same purchase of the other um, jersey and I'm not sure what's happened to this fabric, whether I've done something to it or whether it was an issue that I didn't realise but it's got kind of like stripes in it. I don't think you'll be able to see it on, no, on camera. Um, it looks almost like it's burnt or it's just a different tone of colours. So I don't know if it's been burnt on my radiator, but in all the years that I've been washing things, I've never known that to happen. So it's a shame really, because I actually think I've sewn this up all right. I think that you can see these stripes, um, this kind of like miscoloured stripes on the navy blue jersey so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it again and see if it comes out because um, it might be dust which makes me sound absolutely terrible but we've been having a lot of work done in our kitchen and I thought I wonder if I've put it on a dusty radiator but wouldn't you think the dust had come out so not sure if it doesn't come out I am thinking of getting um, a fabric dye and just dyeing it either again navy blue or it'd have to be dark so navy blue or black but um, that's a lovely pattern and I can see me using that an awful lot. So back to my current projects my Mandy at uh, my Love Notions ballad blouse 
oh my goodness, the sharing. Oh, I watched a lot of vlogs and I watched Tilly and the Buttons vlog, which briefly explains how to do it. And um, I watched um, Whitney at Tomcat Stitchery. There was quite a few that I'd watched and it seemed that you just dropped the sharing bobbin in and away you went. You know, you have to sort of feed it through and um, I just could not work out. It was sewing, but it just wasn't sharing. It wasn't doing anything. And then I watched the lovely Beck at um, What Beck Sells and she was saying that she'd had the same issue. She'd gone on Instagram and I think somebody who shares the same name as me called Katie, I think it's, I think she's What Katie Sells, had helped Bex out. So between the two of you ladies, thank you so much. You're absolute queens. You have helped me and I have finally managed to do some sharing. So um, hopefully my Love Notions ballad blouse should be on its way. So it's just got a little bit of sharing there. So it's been useful to try this new skill and it's been interesting, but I have gone through a full lot of sharing some sharing elastic that I got in a so Haley Jane box and yeah it's it's all a learning experience isn't it but it's frustrating at the time I've also completed which I forgot about and I I've worn it today I made it was kind of a bit of a chopped up um, cashmere ligon robe and the reason why I made it like this is because at my school today we have had a cultural day and it's when teachers and students and other staff members at school can dress in their cultural clothes um, to reflect their heritage and their culture and we are working in inner city school we have i think over 60 languages spoken and um, so it's very varied and there's lots and lots of different cultures people from all over the world so it's a brilliant day this is the second year we've done it and last year i just wore my clothes i, I didn't know how to reflect my culture so i am manchester born and bred and um yeah, it's a bit difficult really with how, how do you reflect your british culture in um clothes i don't know if we really we don't really have a national dress in that way and so this year I was determined to do something and I decided that I would reflect my um, heritage in, I suppose, my history um, in that I attended university because we're all trying to improve aspirations for kids. And um, so I wanted to show them kind of what you wear if you go to university and if you graduate. So I found my mortarboard and I've worn my mortarboard for most of the day today. I took my university scarf and wore that, although it was really, really hot and it smelled pretty musty. It's not been out of a box for 20 odd years. So I've been sneezing all day and I used the Ligon robe, uh, which I hadn't sewn before as a little kind of gown, um, graduation gown. So I just bought some cheap uh, poly cotton from Minerva and sewed that up this week. So that's in effect ended up being a bit of a wearable twirl tw 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 for me to test the shape and uh, to test how to sew it. And I made a size 14 with the GH cup and I think that's probably going to be about right. So plans going forward, at some point I want to make the Ligon robe in nicer fabric. And speaking of which, that's what has arrived last week, last week. So I went on the Minerva website. I've been currently just really getting into Minerva. I think now I've worked out how to navigate the website a bit better and they're doing loads and loads of really useful and interesting vlogs on YouTube. So I've definitely got into Minerva a bit more. And this is the fabric that I've bought because I wanted a kind of traditional uh, robe style, you know, smoking jacket almost. I just don't know if it goes that way or that way. 
Uh, it is a cotton. I think it's, um, the, is it Stoff of France? But it, this is the last of it. So um, I bought the last bits really. So they had to send it me in two lots. This is why this is small. This is just half a meter. And I ordered another four and a half meters. So I've got five meters all together because I want to make the Ligon robe from Cashmeret, which is a Cashmeret club pattern. And I'm gonna take the plunge at some point. This won't be, this might be a summer holidays project. I'm going to try the Carolyn pajamas. I've seen lots of people making them. They look really beautiful and really classic. And so I want a pajama set and a matching robe. So hopefully, um, that will be made over the summer. The only thing that's confusing me is it talks about piping and it's saying that I need three meters of piping. Is that right? Or do they mean create the piping and just the one bit of piping would be three meters? So if anybody out there knows or could help me with that, um, that would be great. I am going to re-watch vlogs. I remember, um, I remember um, Sofa Serenity, um, Adele, sorry Adele, <laughs> um, forgot your name then, Adele made some of these and I'm wondering what she said about piping so I just need to double check that. Now those purchases arrived not last week, the week before because I'm planning to do a no spend May and so that's my kind of me made pledge to myself. I've not taken part in me made May before. I'm a new sewer really. I've not been sewing for very long. Um, probably really just over a year for garment sewing. And I just need to just recoup some funds um, with having a lot of work done recently on the house. Um, I just need to not spend any money. So I'm going to try and not buy any patterns, any fabric and I'm not going to buy anything for myself. So luckily I've got a stash of deodorants and toothpaste and things like that that I always have um, on hand and um, yeah, I'm going to try and not spend anything on myself. I have done no spend months before and it is amazing just how much you manage to recoup. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's what I'm doing with that. So I'm just double checking I think I've more or less covered everything. So uh, my plans for next week is finish my ballad blouse. I've already cut out um, a jersey dress, a Wexford, which again is a cashmere club pattern that I've not done before. So I've cut that out. So that should be a fairly quick sew. And it's just a kind of loose summery dress that I'm gonna hopefully wear for work. And then because I have now feel that I can tackle buttonholes, I'm going to try the Wren dress from Chalk and Notch, which is a pattern I've had for a long time and I've just been so um, kind of hesitant to try, uh, try it. But I'm not going to be scared of buttonholes. Last thing to tell you about is I've got um, a new little um, visitor to my sewing room and here, here, he is. <laughs> um, so my partner bought me this little um, teddy and I've called him Tiny Two because the story behind it is we found one outside. I think a baby or a kid had dropped it and we left him on the wall and he was there for a couple of days. Um, the original Tiny was was black, um, black and white. It's still a unicorn or a pretend unicorn or a wannabe unicorn and then somebody took tiny so we don't know if the person who took him was the original person who left who lost him we hope so we hope tiny went to a nice home so this is tiny too it is essentially a pug who wants to be a unicorn so yeah that's who's keeping me company this week so thank you ever so much for watching. Um, I hope that wasn't too fast or too much of a whistle stop tour. Um, like I say, I really do hope to be a little bit more 
consistent with my Friday sews. So it's wonderful to join the Friday sews community. Thanks for watching, happy sewing, and I'll see you soon. Bye.